This video is going to be all about the most common and some of the most scary symptoms of anxiety. Because for all of us dealing with anxiety issues, it is the symptoms that seem to be the most crushing and most concerning part of the entire anxiety recovery journey. We never seem to be completely sure if the things that we are experiencing are really anxiety related or if they are actually a sign of something serious, maybe an underlying health issue. We are unsure because we believe that the things that we are experiencing are just a bit different than what we have read in some forum. They are way too intense to be just stress related and most and for all, they are way too real and frequent to be anxiety. So let's jump right into the list and let me know how many symptoms you are dealing with and if there are any that you believe should have been included in this list. Number 1. Hypochondria Probably the worst because that is what makes all the following symptoms so much more intense and is the thing that seems to keep us in this anxiety loop. Number 2. Dizziness. That was a big one for me and it came in many different forms and sensations. I could feel a general wooziness, feeling a bit off balanced and sometimes it could feel like the ground under me was vibrating or rocking. But the scariest ones were these very quick but intense bursts of dizziness. I think they are called dizzy spells. They were like these one second long rushes to my head that made me feel like I was about to collapse to the ground, faint or have a stroke. And just happened over and over throughout the day and out of the blue. 3. Headaches I've dealt with persistent headaches that could last from hours to even days. Some were always right behind my left eye, others felt like a tight band was wrapped around my head. And then I would also get these lightning jolt type of headaches that kind of felt like someone put a needle to my brain and the pain then spread throughout my whole body. It was some scary stuff. Number 4. Cotton ball sensations in the ear. 5. Ringing in the ears. You know that feeling when you're flying? That pressure in your ears? Well that is something that I had 24-7. I would just be popping my ears all day long and the pressure would just never go away. Plus I had that very quiet but noticeable ringing in the ears. Back then I thought it was a clear sign of very high blood pressure or something like that. Number 6. Extremely dry mouth. It was like the inside of my mouth was made of sandpaper. I would just constantly be zipping on water, but it didn't help. Also something I dealt with on a daily basis. 7. Vision distortions Throughout my 5 years dealing with anxiety, I had so many different types of visual sensations. Some of them were blurriness, eye floaters, lost focus, like my eyes couldn't focus on one object but were constantly jumping around. Colors seemed to be more intense and other times everything looked a lot grayer. I would also get these freaky color flickers somewhere in my sight. Plus sometimes it could feel like that I lost my eyesight for a second. One short burst of complete darkness and then back to normal. 8. Frequent colds. Yes, I did get sick a lot more often. 9. Insomnia. I've dealt with extreme insomnia which just aggravated the following symptoms. 10. Muscle tension. 11. Shooting pains in joints, muscles and any other area of your body. Crushing feeling in the chest. 13. Tightness in chest or also in arm or anywhere else. Kind of like something is pulling on your skin or like there is too little skin on one of your extremities, causing it to fit too tightly. I know, it's a really weird one. 14. Feeling like patches of your skin are warm. Itchiness. 16. Red burning and itchy eyes. 17. Frequent urination. Another extreme one for me. I mean, I could literally need to go to the washroom every 15 minutes or so. Come out of there and sit back at my desk, immediately feeling like my bladder was about to burst. And then I would just nervously jump up and down on my seat and then sprint back to the toilet. Yeah, that was a really bad one for me. Number 18. Intense fatigue. Never feeling energized but being completely drained, demotivated and only wanting to jump right back into bed. And when you do that, insomnia hits you right in the face. 19. Tired and wired at the same time. Oh my, I can still remember how bad this one was for me. I would feel extremely tired, but at the same time I would get these bolts of adrenaline rushing through my body that felt like they were artificially keeping me awake or something like that. So I was too tired to work on my day, but then also my brain working too hard solving my anxiety symptoms so that I couldn't sleep at night. It was just a vicious cycle. 20. Fear of going crazy. There were times where my anxiety or panic were so intense, I would be pacing up and down in my room thinking and worrying that I was just about to go properly insane. Standing right at the edge of insanity, not being able to then return, it really felt like I was just about to go crazy. 21. Mood swings. 22. New phobias and fears. Suddenly things that didn't bother you, like flying or driving, can start to freak you out. 23. Depersonalization and derealization. 24. Concentration problems, difficulties to stick to one task or getting something done, or being very forgetful. 25. 
feeling of impending doom. Another huge one for me. I kid you not, every little twitch or ache or rash, whatever, that I've noticed was a clear sign of some serious illness and would spiral me into a panic attack. 26. Jaw pain. 27. Sharp cut-like sensations. Like I would get these very hurtful but short pains that felt like some little cuts that could happen anywhere on my body. 28. Afraid of being alone. I was so sure that something bad was going to happen to me that I never wanted to be alone. It got so bad that I had to move back in with my parents and had the need to keep the door open at night so that somebody would be able to find me in case something really did happen to me. I even considered getting one of these little emergency buttons you see a lot of the elderly people have. Yeah, it was pretty intense. 29. Constant body checking and scanning. Always on the lookout for symptoms. 30. Frequent crying. 31. Muscle twitches. 32. Muscle tension. For me, this was something I dealt with 24-7 and was the reason for most of the other anxiety symptoms. My entire body was so tense and hurtful, it cut me up at night not being able to fall asleep. 33. Numbness. 34. Burning sensations. 35. IBS symptoms. 36. Unsteady walk. There were times I would genuinely question my ability to walk or start to wonder if I'm walking right. I would so overthink walking that I no longer knew how to do it. 37. Jitteriness. 38. Phantom smells and tastes. 39. Metallic or sweet taste in the mouth. 40. Depression. I would get these intense bouts of uncontrollable sadness. 41. Loss of social contacts and isolation. 42. Drug and alcohol abuse. 43. Constant reassurance seeking. Asking others to see if you are alright or if they have experienced this or that symptom and so on. Going to doctors multiple times over. And then shortness of breath, another big one for me. I was so in tune with my breathing, I had the feeling I had to manually control it or else I wouldn't breathe at all. 45. Decreased or increased sex drive. 46. Fear that others might see you make a fool of yourself. 47. Agoraphobia. At its worst, I wasn't able to leave the house because everything out there would be triggering and lead to panic attack after panic attack. 48. Excessive sweating. My palms would be so wet all the time, I basically had to carry a crunched tissue in my head all the time. 49. Restless leg syndrome. 50. Limb weakness. 51. Intense need for control. 52. Electric shock feelings. These are like electric jolts starting from the scalp or spine that quickly spread throughout the body, often in combination with 53. Brain zaps. Easily one of the scariest ones for me. They felt like Either my brain was shut off for one second, or that every cell in my brain was fired up all at once, often followed by a burst of dizziness. 54. Constant fear of death. 55. Weight loss or weight gain. 56. Pharmacophobia. Fear of taking medication. 57. You easily get startled. 58. Emotions are dampened and you can't feel highs or lows in your life. 59. Extreme sensation sensitivity. I mean, I was able to feel every little change to my body or in the surroundings. Street vibrating because a car passed by, I would feel it. Small, tiny little light change, I would panic because I thought my vision is failing. Ever so light breezes on my leg and I would freak out and believe I was going numb. 60. Nausea. 61. Tingling scalp. 62. Hot and cold flashes. 63. Memory loss. 64. Being very self-aware always thinking others are looking at you. 65, paranoia. 66, rapid heartbeat, skip beats or pounding heart. 67, high blood pressure. And probably so many more. I know that these are all very scary and have a tremendous impact on one's life, but I want you to know that a full recovery is possible. I did manage to fully overcome this and share with you how I did it here in this playlist. Thanks for watching, and if you're new here and want to see more anxiety related content just like this one, consider subscribing. A like would be nice too.